before. I bet y'all didn't think this thing was ever gonna end. Yes, I'm in the road. I don't know what that is on the road, but it's making rumbling noises. Um, part four. I'm glad y'all have watched all of these, if you have. Uh, this is the last one for the Southern Nationals tour. However, I may keep doing this. I don't know. Uh, going to each race and maybe some stuff throughout the week, whatever. Oh my lord, it just lightened and thundered and scared me. I thought a tartan blew out. Oh. See what I mean? This kind of stuff happens to me all the time. Oh my lord, that went again. Jesus. Spectacles, testicles, wallet, watch. Um, heading up this mountain. I need somebody to push me from behind. I know, I'm trying. Um, part four. I'm glad y'all watched all the videos. Uh, finish this one out. When you're done with this one, subscribe to my channel because you never know what else I might put up. I live a pretty interesting life. Got lots of interesting people that I hang out with. There's no telling what you might see. You might learn something, I don't know. Or you might learn what not to do. You can never tell. But anyways, thank y'all for watching. Um, subscribe to my channel. I would love to be at a thousand subscribers. I think I'm at like 940 or something right now. But you know, it'd be nice to be at a thousand. You know, just a, a little, a little mark. But anyways, uh, peace and chicken grease on the cross. Coming through the big city of Chattanooga, heading to Rossville, Tennessee. I believe I just passed the exit where you can get up and go to. Ronnie Johnson's. I can't believe he gets that big truck where he lives. It's right downtown just about. But, anyways, on the way to Crossville. Uh, should get there. Let's see, they're an hour behind us. GPS says 150. But that's Georgia time. So, it'll be 1250 their time. Um, and I'll go from Crossville to or Lebanon Town. The weather is not looking too great, truthfully, for all the next three nights. I mean, I, I don't want anything to get rained out, but all I want to do is just get all my camera equipment set up and then the bottom fall out. I mean, that'll be my look. But of course, I, uh, Abby at Magnolia gave me some big old black trash bag bags that I used at Magnolia that time. Lord, they're just about a body bag, but that's what I put over my camera and the live box and all that stuff. Um, anyways, on the way to Crossville, should get there, 1250. I'll get off set up. Never been to Crossville. It looks to be pretty, pretty nice, I think, from what I can tell from the pictures as far as where we set up the film from. I guess I'll find out, but anyways, see y'all down the road. <laughs>
We'll wait and see what's next. Oh, this is fun. You know, there's still a chance of rain when it's less than an hour away from hot laps and still a bunch of the cars still in their howlers. Everybody just waiting around to see what's gonna happen. Your what? Media, dirt on dirt. Like Media. That. Oh, that's pretty. Michael Rigsby is the epitome of dirtondirt.com, just really? so you know. Is that your... And Robert yeah. Holman is the epitome of dirt track racing in Central Tennessee. You, I, I'm pretty much drive the sport. <laughs> drives it. Hey, kind of like Jones Racing Pro. What drives you? What? What drives you? What drives me? Camaro. Right. <laughs> now you drive the Camaro. What's the word of the day today? Yes, Spanky. Word of the day. You drive the Camaro, not the Camaro. I mean you. How you doing there, buddy? You got one? Well, I'm trying to think. I, I think the Trump. word of the... Trump is the word of the day. What? President Trump. President Trump? That's two words. Word of the day. Yeah. Trump's word. I don't teach math. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a social studies teacher. Word of the day. Can that be three? Sure. We are racing across the While the rain yeah. pitter patters on the, on the microphone, there. Going, guys. It's, it's some kind of handheld. I think it looks like a giant hot dog is holding in his hand. I don't know. Well, I don't know. it looks that close. Well, I had I tell you what, I had a good time tonight at Crossville. I love a little action. Ain't nothing wrong with a little bit of drama every now and then. Uh, I'm excited to see how this plays out over the next two nights. But uh, heading to the hotel. Gosh, if I don't turn over. Um, who won? Brandon Oakton won again. Uh, Chris Madden second or third. And Corey Hedgecott. I think Chris was second. Corey Hedgecott was third. Um, good old excitement. Something about a trailer. Anyways, see y'all tomorrow. Did y'all know you could order a bag of ice from McDonald's? I didn't either. This car in front of me, they just handed them a whole bag of ice out the window. Which way I gotta go? To the right? No. Go. Turn right on South Main yeah, Street. Anyways, on the way to the 411. On the way to the 411, um, looks like we're gonna be battling rain again today. So that's always fun. I'll get there. It says 201 on the GPS. So I'll be there around two o'clock. Um, get set up. Been to Would you hush? I know where I'm going. Um, I got. I've been to 411 a bunch of times, so. I kind of know how to set up here. Um, I guess I kind of will wait kind of till last minute and see what the weather's going to do. But on the road again, 411, here I come. set up come on now turn around there you go camera set up body bag wires ran 411 let's see if we can see the racetrack with this music playing in the background probably gonna mess it up anyways we'll go this way here is the snow cone shack I'll be visiting that in a little while got the loudest generator in the pits it'll pull it though it's pretty dark over there Body bags is holding in. Hey, y'all ever seen a box fan with thermostat? Why don't y'all look there? That's pretty neat. Robert, what is that thing? Hand sanitizer and Jack Dan. Right oh, yeah, okay. of course. All right, we're live. <laughs> all right, so, all right, so we're at 411 Motor Speedway, right? And obviously, uh, some lightning in there. Uh, Ooh, that, that Ric Flair. Uh, I'm here to. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> That is uh, my best Wayne Keith impersonation. Oh, man. I love that guy. He's marvelous. Uh, so I'm here at 411 with, with the essentials. Hand sanitizer, 
Uh, and this hand sanitizer was actually made at Jack Daniels, you know, mm -hmm. from Lynchburg. Okay, right? okay. And uh, I brought Jack Daniels not to drink. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely not mm -hmm. going to be drinking that on the job. Mm -hmm. I actually brought it to a, a friend who I also came to pick up uh, some race car parts from. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so uh, I'm kind of in the, the give back mood. So I'm going to, uh, we get these, my, my, we get these people at Jack Daniels get these every like first or last Friday of the month. Oh, okay. And so I'm going to uh, drop this off with a friend over there in the pit area and I uh, hope he has a good night. And if he has a bad night, well, maybe this will make it better. Yeah, it might make uh, it. Yeah, it might so help. The essentials, road trip essentials, that's it. Man. Now, we got to talk uh, about your, your, your camera here for just half a second. Don't be making fun of my camera. So you can take 41 pictures tonight. That's right, okay. Yeah, Let, let's see. Is that see. a problem? Maybe. Let's see the size of this card. Okay. 512 megabytes. So why are you making fun of my, why are you making fun of my, first of all, if I took, I'm not a photographer. Okay. Fooled me. I'm a writer. Mm -hmm. I'm a writer that carries a camera. Mm -hmm. So, why do I need to take 150 photos that I'm going to have to go back and sit at the hotel room until 6 a.m. And, and edit and then post when there's two or three other photographers who are actually professional photographers do a uh -huh. much better job uh -huh. than I do. Uh, you know, Brian McLeod, uh, there's several. Uh, Rick Neff, he's here, right? Yeah, I think. Yeah, he's here again. I think Chad, Chad's here. Thing. Chad Wells. Uh, Chad Wells. I mean, there's uh, guys out there that yeah, do a great, yeah. great job, yeah. much better than me. I don't pretend to be what I'm not. Well, okay, I didn't mean to get on your soapbox. That's all right. How about this piece of trash here? What does it mean you to you? You know the story of this? Please tell us. Okay. This right here is what uh, the world's come to. You talk about soapbox. This is mm -hmm. this right here is is symbolic of what America has come to. Okay? It is, it is. A, a young fella, probably around, I'm guessing, 10 years old, strolled by a while ago. And uh, for you guys that maybe watching this up north, a while ago means a few minutes ago. Or <laughs> So, uh, so this guy strolls, this little kid strolls by, and uh, he comes up and lays his uh, hands on the back of my car here, which is not just a Just up kid. there. We're standing over here talking. Uh, he, he just props up. Yeah, he just lays his, his hands there. So, it, you know, I said, you know, how you doing, young fella? And uh, he rips his paper in half, drops half of it on the ground, and starts to walk away. So, what do we do? I, I say, hey. Uh, yeah, hey, you, said, hey, you dropped the something, something. Paper. Yeah, yeah. He said, and he said, I know. And I said, well, pick it up and he said no and turned around and, and kept off. walking that's what we're dealing with the youth of america right there that's the problem <laughs> that that kid i don't know who the kid was never met him before in my life he needs a uh the old proverbial oh that's my phone that's from oh, my my. Secretary. oh he you'll needs the old proverbial uh foot up in the butt yes that was ridiculous but so For we're sure. holding on to this maybe he'll come back by and we'll give it to him later <laughs> Get it. Ted Wells. I'm back. How about that hat you got on there? Hat. Only slightly used. Only slightly. Uh-huh. Has only about five years old. Yeah. So how about a word of a day? Word of the day. The best concert I ever saw, it only cost 50 cents. It was a 50 cent concert featuring Nickelback and it was less than 50 cents. Bottom like that. But, um, kiss. That's her last. Yeah. <laughs> it's a final countdown. Da -da -da -da. Oh, well, tonight's done. All packed up. Heading to the hotel. Uh, Chris Madden won. Uh, Corey Hedgecock was in there somewhere. And somebody else. Anyways, Chris Madden won. Um, I'm going to put a, a picture of a sign right here that this lady kept um, pointing towards the camera. Of course, I never did get it on the video camera, but she kept pointing it over there towards me. So I'm going to let y'all see what it, what it says. But anyway, that's for anybody that's kept up with what went on the past couple days of the racing. But heading to, I got a hotel in Knoxville, so I'm heading there. Uh, I gotta go to Tazzle tomorrow. Tazzle is the last race on the Southern National Tour. Weather is, I believe, 50% chance of rain. I guess we'll see. If by chance it rains out, I'm going to Dixie. 
if I, if it's early enough. I, um, I mean, of course, I don't want no races to rain out, but if I wanted, you know, if any of them were to rain out, I would rather it be tomorrow, early, where I could go to Dixie. I hadn't been to Dixie all year and would like to go. Don't know when I'll get to go because uh, busy, busy. But anyways, on the way to the hotel, Chris Madden won, and he had a lot of boos and a lot of woos when he got out of the car, but I guess that's how that works. Gosh, I'm dirty. Ooh, I got to have a shower. I just want y'all to see these fine establishments I stay at. Can't really tell, but that's two cop cars behind me. I pull up and I ask them what's going on, or I ask the ladies in the office what's going on. She's like, oh, I don't know. Somebody's on the other side of those bushes running around. Oh, Lord. Y'all, uh, I'm glad I brought my little friends, Smith and Wesson, with me tonight. <laughs> It's windy today. I never get up early enough for breakfast, so this is lunch. Um, on the way to Tazel, I got 55 minutes left to get there. Tonight's the last night. Bittersweet. I'd be home for a day or two. This video brought to you by Wendy's and Dollar General Water. Yes, Joshua Joyner, I am sitting here eating cold french fries once again with my chicken nuggets. I think they gypped me. Let's see, one, two, three, four. No, they're all in there. Anyways, it is race day here at Tazful. Bad fast Taz. I'm all set up down there. You can see the garbage bags over everything. Because we don't know what the weather's going to do. But we've made it, and oh, I'm ready to get this over with. I'm ready to be home for a day or two, really. Gosh, I miss my bed. Some of them quality inns that I've stayed in are not so quality. But the comfort inns are pretty nice. I guess we'll get started. I think hot laps start at, driver meets at 7, hot laps should be about 7.30. I'm looking awful pale in this video. Um, hopefully, high lines will start at 7.30. We have one, two, three, four, five classes here tonight. Let's hope that don't take all night. I don't know if they have a curfew. I don't think they do. We're in the middle of the mountains. But anyways, I'm going to make my way around track side to the tent in a minute once I get done eating. And check on everybody and see how everybody's doing. Peace and chicken grease. Well, this chicken probably don't have no grease. It can probably come out of the tube. But, anyways, bang. I'm going to give y'all a walk up here and show y'all just how bank this racetrack is. So we're going from flat land. To straight down. Pup, what are you doing? I didn't start at the top, so I gotta slide it up. Oh, oh Lord. Draw your line right here. Turn your right. right. <laughs> no, no, all you gotta do is one inch apart. Okay. You're doing a fine job. 
Yeah. This is where old people's hand paint steady. Oh, you need me to draw it across yeah. here? Yeah. Okay. What about the lines over there? No, we're we about to move down lines. No, I'm talking about, ain't you going to do a little checks down through there first? No. Get this lined up over here. Y'all need to do this. I can't see. I don't have my bifocals on. What? I don't expect you to understand it at your age, but when you get you older. You should have picked a different color for your hair. Here, go ahead. Where, are you going, where the third yeah, line What about these? Well, yeah, you have to stop too quick. <laughs> Spanky. Spanky. Can we get a word for the day? I didn't think we was going to get one, but let's hear one. <laughs> well, it's going to be actually three words. Three arts words. And, arts and crafts. Uh -huh. Arts and crafts. <laughs> <laughs> Carolyn, how you doing today? Oh, I'm tolerably well. Happy to be here. Pup, you're doing a fine job. You know what? We did a little arts and crafts. Got paid in a t-shirt, didn't we? Dang right. Ain't going to turn nothing down free. Well, some things. Turn out the lights, the party's over. There's Bobo. Well, heading to the hotel. Tazewell is done. Completed. Um, I'm turning on the rough road here, we'll see. Anyways, Tazewell is done, completed. It has been a drama-filled night from childish mess to flat tires galore. Oh, you know, it's been marvelous, but anyways, on the way to the hotel, trying not to get killed. Got a hotel in Kentucky tonight. Driving home tomorrow. Um, excited to be home. On to Cherokee next weekend. And then Wisconsin the week after that. And then vacation. Rented them at a cabin up here, or not up here, but in Pigeon Forge, so that'll be fun. Anyways, good night, y'all. Um, Brandon Oakton won overall. Dakota Knuckles, I think, won the feature tonight. I've enjoyed this, and I hope y'all have enjoyed the videos and look for more to come. Y'all subscribe to my channel because there's am telling what I'm going to put on there next. Let's see if I can make it around this corner here without passing away. Man, that's a sharp corner. Anyways, good night, y'all. Peace and chicken grease. Been real. And it's been fun. nosy okay well wait a minute let me back up so before i turned on 75 coming towards chattanooga my gas light came on so i thought shoot i got 20 or so miles so i got off there the uh, the exit one there at boyd's i was gonna swing by boys and just be nosy you know see what's going on well as i'm riding by everything's fine my light's still flashing i'm used to that it does that a good bit well i get right down the road and the car quits I mean, like, no warning, no sputter, or nothing. Just quit. So, excuse me, pardon me. So, I, um, I, I pull over. Obviously, I don't have much option, so I pull over. And there's police, probably, I don't know, a couple hundred feet in front of me up there, radaring. Well, I get out of the car, and I start walking towards him. And I ask him, I said, there's a store at the end of this road. Uh, I'm sure they probably have gas jugs. I've ran out of, of gas. Would you mind giving me a ride to the uh, end of the road? He said, no. And he said, no, I, I can do that. So I was kind of looking where I was going to get in. He goes, points behind him. Lord, so I get in the back of the police car. I'm telling you, you can't make this stuff up. It happens to me and only me. And we, we drive down the road get to the gas thing, they got the gas jug, I get it, I'd have paid $100 for that gas jug, I, I dang near did anyway, it was $15 for a half a gallon gas jug, with one of them kamikaze 
bull crap nozzles on the end of it. Oh, but anyways, I got gas and I am on the road again. Now I'm 323 miles away. I should be home by uh, about an hour, I guess. Oh, the life of MJP. Howdy. I know I'm late. I've took forever to work on this video. I've had a lot going on since I've got home from the tour. But I have um, some statistics I would like to share. Ooh, that's right. Okay, so in the whole Southern Nationals tour, I have, I've got the Apple Watch, so I kind of keep up with that. I have burned uh, 5,608 calories. I have stood for 162 hours. I've took 97,331 steps, which equals out to 44.9 miles. Okay. Um, I drove 2,388 miles. I used 62.42 gallons of gas. My final hotel bill was $866.67. And I only spent $145.33 on food, which is pretty cheap. Pretty cheap. So, um, this is ending the Southern Nationals uh, video. I'm going to skip ahead a little bit because this week has been pretty hectic so um, the next video is going to start like maybe a weekly thing that I do I don't know but this week I have uh, sold my motor home which is great I did that today today is Wednesday the 29th um, and I go out to Cherokee this weekend but anyway when I got back from the tour that Sunday I went out to eat so that'll start the beginning of the new videos so enjoy and peace and chicken grease thanks for following along I've enjoyed doing these videos this is very fun um, I don't know how much more I'll do it I mean I've, I've got a lot of people saying that they like watching them so I guess I mean I guess my life is halfway interesting I don't know so I guess I'll just keep doing them until people tell me to quit. But I enjoy doing this. Dog on that tan line is still there. Anyways, peace and chicken grease. Thanks for watching.